A warm greeting to all. Uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss about load frequency control of two area system, tie line modeling and block diagram representation of two area system. And uh, we all know in our country, we are having interconnected electrical power network. And it is having different levels of energy control strengths, starting from local low dispatch center, state wise, regional wise, and national low dispatch centers are available. And the purpose of such local uh, low dispatch centers are to maintain real power balance and frequency within the system. If you want to control uh, or regulate voltage in a system. We can do adjustment in the excitation system available within the generator. But whereas for achieving a power balance as well as the maintenance of frequency within a system without getting instructions from the operators working at energy control center, we cannot do such control actions on real power and frequency. So, the uh, for doing such uh, control actions, we require low frequency control and it is available at energy control centers. And in previous videos, we have discussed about the purpose working and uh, uh, modeling of low frequency control for a single area system. But in practice, we are having an interconnected electrical network. So, we can treat this interconnected power network as a multi-area system. So, now we are, we are in need of understanding the same uh, load frequency control for a multi-area system. For, but in syllabus, for ease of understanding, we are uh, uh, having the load frequency control for two area system. Uh, if, uh, if you are going to be strong enough in the uh, uh, concept of low frequency control for two area system, we can understand the concept of low frequency control being applied for multi area system. So, this is the reason for having low frequency control for two area system in the syllabus. So, let us start with the modeling of two area system. So, as I said earlier, we are having different uh, load frequency control areas and the, all those areas being interconnected and for interconnection is happening by means of uh, tie lines. So, for uh, ease of understanding, we are going to start the modeling with two area. So, now we are going to consider a two area being connected by a tie line. So, here we are having control area 1 and control area 2 connected by a tie line. So, before getting into the detailed modeling of two area system, we have to understand the objective of uh, load frequency control for two area system. So, the main purpose is we have to maintain a frequency within its own area, control area. And uh, other thing this, uh, if, if suppose if you are having any interconnection between the control areas and we have to uh, have a control on that interconnection too. So, what we are going to do next, uh, next to this uh, frequency regulation is, we are going to have a regulation on the power flow in the tile. So, the first objective is we are going to regulate frequency within the area and the second one is we are going to regulate the power flow in the tie line. So, these two are the objectives of two area load frequency control. So, let us start with the modeling. So, here for uh, uh, now what we are going to do is in modeling we are going to find the incremental changes in the power flow in the tie line and then we are going to uh, find the uh, response that means uh, we are going to find the value of uh, change in frequency with respect to area 1 and area 2 and now for uh, now we are going to start that modeling with the uh, power uh, for flowing from area 1 to area 2 so with that assumption we are going to start the modeling Okay, so now we are considering the power transferred out of area 1. So, for that we can express that uh, power flow in the tie line from area 1 as the product of sending in voltage and receiving in voltage with respect to line reactants and it is having a direct proportionality of uh, sign of voltage difference in voltage angle. 
and we can write this as uh, p maximum sin del one, del one minus del two. And so we can from this we can infer that this uh, tile line power flow from any area is having a direct proportionality with the voltage angle. So if you are going to have a control on the voltage angle, we can have a control on the tie line power flow. If you want to get a maximum power by substituting the value of delta as 90 degree, we can achieve a maximum power flow in the tie line. But uh, 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 the thing is in practical, we should not uh, bring this voltage angle to 90 degree. Uh, it means if you are going to bring that to uh, 90 degree and it will, it will try to reach the maximum power flow and at that time this tie line is going to uh, lose its uh, rigidness that is stiffness so but in uh, always we have to maintain the rigidness or the stiffness in the uh, tie line power so in order to maintain that uh, rigidity of the tie line power we are not going to bring this voltage angle to a 90 degree. So, uh, in practice, we are going to maintain the angle between 30 to 60 degrees so in order to maintain stiffness in the tie line power. So, this is the uh, under information or uh, from this relation. Okay, so now we'll start the de uh, deriving the uh, tie line change in the tie line power. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to find incremental change in the tie line power. So, incremental in the sense we are going to find the change in the tie line power and from this equation it is having the dependency on the voltage angle. So it is going to change we can uh, estimate that incremental change is happening due to the change in the voltage angle. So now we are finding the change in the incremental uh, I mean tie line power with respect to the uh, voltage angle. So if you are going to differentiate the entire equation with respect to delta we will be getting this equation. So now we can write this as uh, del p tie 1 and now we are going to uh, bring this equation to a standard form that is a per unit form. So in order to bring this one we are going to uh, divide uh, this entire uh, uh, actual value by a base value. So base value is the is nothing but the rated capacity of a area 1 because here we are having the power flow from area 1. So we are going to consider the power rating of area 1 as a base value. So after uh, converting that into a per unit we may get this equation. So here the another important factor is uh, T12 that is electrical stiffness. So all these values we can uh, 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 write as a T12 that is electrical stiffness. So this uh, stiffness is going to be happen for maintaining the rigidity in the tie line power. So synchronizing power coefficient we can say that as the electrical stiffness and this is the, uh, the mathematical expression. So we can take this as from the previous equation. So now we can uh, see the definition for this uh, electrical stiffness. It is nothing but the difference uh, differential power increase obtained per differential power angle increase. It's nothing but change in the tie line power with respect to change in power angle. So this is nothing but the electrical stiffness. So and uh, now what we have to find is we have to find the relation between the tie line power and the frequency. So now we are going to get the value of frequency from this uh, angular frequency. So omega is equal to 2 pi f and from this we can get the value of frequency and the omega we can relate this omega with this uh, power angle that is a rotor angle right and uh, now what we are going to do is we have to at last we are going to find the variation in the del delta change in the power angle that is voltage angle and now uh, uh, we can write this change in frequency as the change in the uh, frequency between the area since we are talking about the tie line power we are considering the variation frequency in two areas so since we are having a power flow from area one to two we are taking plus sign for frequency one and minus sign for frequency two while getting the difference between these two frequencies Okay. So now from that we can uh, again replace the uh, previous that mean, uh, del p tie per unit value as 2 pi 
t12 and integral of del f1 dt minus del f2 dt so this is the equation so far we have obtained the relation between the tie line power and the frequency so now we are going to apply it laplace transform in order to uh, bring that to a block diagram representation okay so now uh, with this equation this is the equation what we have uh, derived so far and from this we are going to take laplace transform so by taking laplace transform we can write this dt as 1 by s and uh, del p tai 1 as per 1 of s will become 2 pi t1 by s into del f uh, 1 of s minus del f2 of s and this is equation number 1. So now what we have done is we have found the change in the tie line power in terms of frequencies. So likewise we can find the change in tie line power if a power is going from area 2 to area 1. So, so now we are going to uh, uh, give a positive sign for del F2 and negative sign for del F1. And this is equation number 2. So again now what we are going to find is we are going to find the electrical stiffness relationship between these uh, uh, equation number 1 and 2. So here we can write uh, electrical stiffness for area 2 as this okay and here uh, we can uh, write our entire uh, term as uh, pr1 into t12 and we can write this uh, pr1 by pr2 as minus a12 and because uh, in tie line we have to maintain a balance so we can write uh, if you are having a change in power in area 1 and the change in power in area 2 and all this has to be uh, have to be maintained uh, constant that is we have to maintain a balance so we can equate this uh, summation to zero while doing such things we can uh, get this equation so from this we can write the ratio of pr1 to pr2 as minus a12 so this is the relation between the electrical stiffness between two areas i mean uh, tie line power flow from two area different uh, on Content, okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to find the power balance in the uh, yeah, equation with respect to area 1 so the incremental power balance equation for area 1 can be written as this is the, we all know the power generation should be equal to power demand plus power loss Okay, but whereas here we are having an uh, interconnection so we can write that uh, balance as power generation will be equal to power demand power loss plus tie line power so here we are having power generation is equal to tie line power power loss and power demand so here uh, we can uh, bringing this power demand to the left hand side so del pg1 minus del pd will be equal to the rest of the uh, things in the equation so this uh, the item in red color what we have uh, derived from the uh, modeling of generator in the uh, load frequency control well discussed about uh, for single area system so here in uh, the, the same equation in addition to that we are having uh, del p tai 1 so this is the extra term we have added in the uh, modeling of a generator in load frequency control so the rest of the things for single area system and now because of the two area system we have included the uh, tie line power two. So now we are going to take Laplace transform for this one and we can write this as uh, equation number 3. And this equation number 3 represents the frequency response for area 1. Likewise we can obtain the frequency response for area 2 and you can equate that equation as equation number 4. And these two equation number 3 and 4 are important for uh, arriving a block diagram representation for two area system so before that we will uh, check the relation between uh, two area and multi area system uh, with respect to load frequency control for area 1 and area 2 with respect to tie line power flow and uh, that is only for two, free, uh, two area low frequency control so with that understanding we can uh, uh, analyze or we can uh, find the power flow in between the all the interconnected tie lines 
for in area system so here we are having in this diagram we are having the connection of n control areas and we are, will be having n tie line power flow so by using the same uh, formula or the concept what we have done so far we can obtain the tie line power uh, flow between area 1 2 2 3 4 up to n control areas so so that we have said that uh, the understanding of the uh, working of low frequency control for two area is uh, enough to understand the purpose of having a low frequency control and the uh, analysis for multi area system now we'll see the modeling of a two area system and in this block diagram we can see the modeling of a, a load frequency control for a single area and the upper half is for uh, uh, area 1 and the lower half is for area 2. So all these uh, we have derived in the previous lectures but uh, the extra thing what we have included in this uh, uh, block diagram is the modeling of a tie line. And we know the formula for a tie line is uh, del P tie will be, will be equal to 2 by T12 divided by S into difference between the frequencies for two area. And here we are having the summation of the frequency responses from two area and we are giving this to one integrated uh, uh, block and the output is the um, change in tie line power and this is going to be the one of the inputs to the area 1 and area Two. So this is the uh, block diagram representation for a two area system along with tie line modeling.